Hey everybody, it's Ron from Ron Cichlids. I uh, hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, as the vast majority of you know, uh, I'm moving my Florida facility uh, to a much larger facility here in South Carolina. A lot of you have been in, on this journey with me um, and I, I want to share it with all of you guys. Um, it might inspire some of you guys to follow this path. Um, it might not, to be honest. It's a lot of work. Um, but I'm a pretty open guy. So I got somebody calling today that wants to know, you know, the process, you know, um, you know, what I went through to do this. So as some of you know already, there's no plans for this. There's nothing on the internet for this where you can just, you know, completely plagiarize it. And with schematics, this is something that you have to have a vision in your head on how you want it and either you have to be able to do it yourself or you have to be able to have somebody do it for you and I think the majority of people that do this are mechanically inclined to do a lot of it themselves um, we have done 95% of the work ourselves I mean of course putting up the building we didn't do that doing the spray foam had professionals do that. I did buy the AC and hook up about 80% of it uh, myself, between myself and my friend. And then the final work, which is the duct work you see here above me, uh, I hired a company to come do. Um, the well, things like that, things that you can't do yourself, but electrical, um, uh, plumbing, um, all of this stuff that you see, it's been done by me and my son. A uh, little bit of uh, help from my uh, best friend, Jim Newbeck. Thanks, Jim. Um, but it's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. We are getting very, very close to being done for now, phase one. Um, we have broken this up to three phases. Uh, phase one was to get all of our fish up here from the Florida facility. Uh, phase two was to get the other side of the building um, uh, done. And then phase three uh, was the addition, because we know that even with this facility, we don't have enough room. So we've already planned a upgrade. So let me show you what I've accomplished. I've stayed here in South Carolina for a good solid week and a half. Uh, I needed some downtime, some me time. Um, it's mentally stressful doing this so I needed a few days kind of by myself to relax and enjoy mother nature so let me do a walkthrough and um, show you guys where we're at and all the new fish we brought up all right here we go so all of these vats on the right which you guys have been watching um, are up and running now I've got air and water to all of them we're waiting for some sponge filters uh, we've definitely figured out that, yes, we have to run sponge filters um, to help remove some of the finer particles uh, out of the tank. Put myself up a shelf for all my tools so my workbench will, you know, my packout bench will be a little uh, less crowded. But we've got this all hooked up now, all the um, above air and water for the 75s. For those of you that have come to my house and um, got fish um, or met me, you guys know that I've got probably a 40 pound snapping turtle. Her name is Chompers. She is gonna have a custom tank that fills this whole thing. And our girl Chompers is gonna be right here in front of the building. Chompers gets um, any dead fish. Um, when you raise tens of thousands of fish, yeah, you have losses. So we've got a snapping turtle, which is our, you know, company mascot, so to speak, and she gets it. We've got a new mascot. It's not really new, but I haven't shared it with you guys. So they came to do the spray foam months and months ago. And then the, the next day that they came to do spray foam, we get, we call her Charlotte spider up there and that's a big spider that thing's about the size of a silver dollar and uh, 
and we don't mess with her. We've got little bugs and stuff in here, and uh, that's another one. That's the building mascot as well, Charlotte. All right, let's show you some tanks. So as you guys know, the 75s were put up here and running. I did put another airdrop. Um, we put a long airdrop in here for the sponge filters. Um, I've got to go through and clean out everything in a few days. These are our Equazi Mabuna. These are our uh, bicolors. Um, we get a reflection in here from the from all the lights, but there's our bicolor male. These guys are funny. These are our trout. They're like they're little beggars every day. I mean. We never had them beg like this at home, but now that we're up here in this facility, they're little beggars. The Buco Nodos, little beggars as well. Um, these are all grow outs. You can't really see in there with the air, so what we have to do is we have to take our air and move it to the side, but there they come. Um, we've got OB Fryer Eyes and Dragons in here. These are our Grow outs. Oops, took off one of my things. Uh, latest trip, we moved up uh, Yellow Blaze uh, German Lithobates. This is our new colony from the originals uh, that we used to have that are still breeding. Um, we got our first spawn yesterday. Um, these guys just moved up here. Um, Thursday and they just spawned yesterday so that was pretty awesome got our first uh, spawning whole bunch more grow outs these guys are just everywhere they love being in the vat we leave it warm in here that's the temperature of the fish house 85 degrees that's how we keep the uh, that's how we keep the temperature in the tanks on a solid 80. Um, air is done. Water is done. I've got a leak. I've got to, you know, fix one of these one of these valves. Um, manufacturer defect leaked. I've tried everything possible, but I'm going to fix that. Um, this is an 80 micron filter. I've showed you guys before. It, it filters out the sediment from the well. I've got a hose that for now that just runs to the drain outside. So all I gotta do is open it up and it just self flushes and I turn it off. I do that every few days. So we moved up babies in the 20 gallon. So we've got deep waters, dragon bloods, uh, manganos, yellow labs, uh, mylochromis, uh, tangerine tigers and white lips. Uh, we brought up some more Milos, uh, our Trivavasi Mandas, uh, more Yellow Blaze little ones. These guys are loving the 20 gallons. I stripped um, our first babies the other day um, from the new facility, uh, more Trivavasi Mandas. The other 20 gallons are filled up. I just got to find time to make more drops. And like I said, we're waiting on sponge filters. Um, we love the black backgrounds, but some fish don't show up, you know, as, with the lighting as pretty as we would like. This is our uh, Christmas Fulu group. Those are our Super Red Top Hongi group. Um, growing out. Yellow Labs, OB Redfin Borelis, Redfin Borelis. Uh, Yellow Blaze down there. Uh, more OB Redfins and Redfin Borelis. In here is uh, white lips and toles that we breed, uh, venustas, a uh, bunch of dragons, uh, big spot hats. We brought up our super red top uh, Swedish hongi group, uh, our breeders the other day. Uh, these guys are stunning. If you truly want to appreciate uh, super red tops, you gotta keep them species only. Um, the females, believe it or not, are breathtaking. Um, the females have orange on top too, but there's three, you know, three designated males in here. But gorgeous species. We're getting back into Mabona. Um, before it was a matter of space, 
and we didn't have the amount of space um, for you know, the amount of sales that was justifiable. But now we have the space and we're getting back into um, some of the rare uh, Mabuna. These are our Amanda's. Um, tank needs a cleaning, uh, needs a sponge filter, but there's the uh, Churavasi Amanda male. Um, let me show you guys what kind of aeration we're getting on these tanks. You get up on a ladder without wrecking myself. But we always talk about surface agitation. Well, there you go. Um, if a fish house like this is a wet environment. You know, there'll be water on top. There'll be water. There'll be water everywhere. There's no way around it. You know, water drips in, plus we have condensation because it's 71 degree well water and it's an 85 degree room. But that's what we're looking at for aeration. The blower is doing a fantastic job. Uh, the blower is a one and a half horsepower blower and we are not utilizing a third of it still. I mean, we have to still vent off a lot of it but here's all the new vats we got to get tanks up here that's phase two uh joe at glasscages.com will help us with the uh, 75s for there the next order uh, we'll also have 40s so this whole back wall will be 40s just like the other side but yeah we're still venting off a lot of uh, air uh, from the blower you just got to basically keep touching the uh, PVC and figuring out if it's a little too hot or not. Uh, once that's all said and done, we will set the uh, bleed valve and we won't have to worry about that anymore. But that's it, guys. Um, that's what we did this week. Lots of airline hoses, um, drilling holes, tapping them, putting the uh, valves in. Um, those little valves are uh, time-consuming they are amazing but they've got to be slightly modified before we use them and then everything in here has to be taped so let me show you so here's the little valves every one of them has to be you know drilled out modified and then it's uh, very fine threads so every one of those has to be taped you know uh, high performance Teflon tape um, three wraps and then um, we've got a drill and then tap for you guys that don't know the way you get threads and stuff is you tap so we drill then we tap the PVC uh, schedule 40 and there's one right there taped so the tape fills in the threads so when you thread PVC to PVC, plastic to PVC, stuff like that, the pressure of the water doesn't get into the threads and then migrate out. So you have to have tape in there to uh, seal it, so to speak. Um, I'm gonna add timers this week to the lighting system, so that'll be automatic, so I won't have to do it. Uh, I'm gonna do some hard wiring of some more electrical and then that's it i mean we are basically going to just focus on moving the family uh, more fish um, selling off the equipment you know that i have at home uh, extra fish i have at home um, as i mentioned my main albino breeder uh, group for my albino morais are for sale um, either as a whole or males and females smaller breeder packs um, but we can't take everything with us up here. Um, so I am consolidating. Um, I've got breeder groups younger that are uh, their children, basically kids, offspring of um, some of my originals. So I'm, I'm selling off some of the original groups and bringing the younger ones up here. Um, we are moving about 1,000 to 1,200 fish per week. Um, and we still probably have six or eight we probably six more weeks of moving fish uh, it's time consuming so you know just just the other day we moved up a good solid fish and then hunter spent a couple days tripping fish 
and easily replace those thousand fish that we brought up here with 700, 800 more fry. Uh, so it's a never ending cycle. Um, but I'll let you guys go. That's the update for uh, July 14th. Today's Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Um, we are getting ready to hop in the car and go back to Florida. Uh, packing out a whole bunch of fish on Thursday and coming right back up here uh, yet again. Uh, my wife and my daughter uh, are going to live up here now. As some of you know, um, yesterday I went to DMV and I got my South Carolina driver's license. So I'm officially a South Carolina resident. Um, we'll be going back and forth for several months. Uh, fixing up the other house, getting it ready for sale and selling off equipment. So stay tuned. I have fish tanks. I have air pumps, uh, canister filters, uh, lots of heaters, titanium heaters. I've got a whole box over there, 500 watt titanium heaters. I've got some small tanks. Uh, I've got 40 gallons that are already drilled and uh, uh, threaded with bulkheads. For any of you breeders uh, that live in Florida or anybody who lives along the way on I-95 that I can stop and bring stuff to, um, you know, uh, tons of canisters, some UV sterilizers, lights. I'm not setting up an aquarium in my home up here for a while. So all of my tanks, I don't have a purpose for. All the filters, I don't have a purpose for. The hang-ons, the air pumps, all that stuff. Our design that we went with up here is very, very, very functional, but very low maintenance. So we don't need, you know, any of that equipment that we've had from home. We don't need the tanks because these are all custom tanks in here from Joe and uh, from the glass cages. And they're all drilled and they all have bulkheads and it's all uh, constant water in, constant water out type system. Uh, so. The only filtration we really have is just the sponge filters to remove the fine particles to help keep it crystal clear. Other than that, I don't I don't need any of that stuff uh, that I have at home. Some tanks and some vats and stuff are already spoken for. Um, you know, from breeders that are down there that uh, uh, want a lot of the stuff that I have. Um, we are moving up all fish except the fish that are for sale, and then. Um, That'll be, those will be the last fish that move up here, um, you know, my larger fish, and then we'll switch over. Um, here within the next probably week to two weeks, probably the next week, all fish food sales will be sent out from the South Carolina facility. Uh, that part of my operation will be uh, all brought up here to South Carolina, and um, we'll switch over in the very, very near future to uh, shipping out from up here. Um, I'm not expecting the fish to all be up here until um, mid to end of August, uh, fingers crossed. So I appreciate everybody's uh, support, uh, patience, you know, bear with me right now. Uh, we're split up. Um, Hunter is in Florida taking care of uh, food orders, uh, tank and fish maintenance and um, he's packing out orders um, for like Mondays. Um, I come home on Tuesday, I help out where I'm needed, um, and then we come right back on Thursdays. Um, so be patient. I can't always uh, find time to answer phone calls right now. I am extremely busy. I love you all, and that hasn't changed, but uh, have a little extra patience with me. Uh, we're, we're going through a monumental uh, step in our lives um, in the, for the business. So I'll sign off. I got, got to get ready to drive home. Uh, thank you all for your support. Thank you all for following me on this journey. If you guys got any questions, um, reach out to me. I'm always available. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.